Hello world, this is Shiraj. Welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can record Zoom lectures or Zoom meetings using Microsoft PowerPoint 2019. So first of all, we'll open the Microsoft PowerPoint 2019. To open Microsoft PowerPoint 2019, you can go to the start and you can open PowerPoint here. Otherwise, you can click on the P letter and you can find the PowerPoint here and you can click here. Otherwise, here I have a shortcut. I can double click here to open Microsoft PowerPoint. Here it's opening. And I'm going to create a new blank presentation. I'm going to click here. Now here I have a very first slide. To record Zoom meetings or online lectures via Zoom application, you can go to the insert and the last command we have screen recording. Here you can record your computer screen with audio. So you can have your complete lecture in a video file with the audio. So you don't need to have the permissions of the host. So you can easily record in your computer. Later you can refer the lectures or the meeting. So I'm going to click on this screen recording to record this screen. Here you can see a couple of control. Here you can see record pointer. If you want to record the pointer in your screen, you can record that one. Or else if you don't want, you can click again if you don't want this record pointer. Or else if you need, you can click again to record this pointer. And here we have audio. If you want to record the audio as well, we can make as it is. If you don't want the audio, you can click again. Only the video or the screen will be recorded without audio. So I need the audio. So I need the computer audio. So then only I can uh, record the uh, lecturers or other host uh, audio so i can click here to record the audio as well the third one here we have select area so i can click this command and here you can see the plus and here you can select the area that you wish to record the area so here you can see you can click and drag and select the area that you wish to record the screen okay here i'm going to select the entire area of my screen and I'm going to stop and here you can see the record button is active now and the shortcut key to record Windows key plus shift plus R Windows key plus shift plus R or else you can click on the record button and here we have a push pin icon you can click on the push pin icon to have this uh, controls all the times in the screen okay we can click on the record and now the screen is recording and here you can see the shortcut key to quit or the stop now you can see the shortcut key windows key plus shift plus q if you want to stop or if you want to exit from the recording we can use a shortcut key otherwise you can click on the stop button now here you can see all the time this control is visible if you don't want this control you can click on the push pin icon again then you can leave the mouse from that control and that will be disappeared. And if you want to get it again, then you can hover your mouse on the top and the control will be there and we can pause the recording and we can stop the recording there. And if you want to start the recording again or in the middle and you can click record button and the recording is continuing. Here you can see the time. Then we can leave the mouse here and you can place any control and the specific part will be recorded. Now I'm going to click on this uh, Zoom applications to open my Zoom meeting. So, good afternoon, Raisal. Very good afternoon, very good afternoon. And today we are going to start the chapter number 9. And I already posted the PowerPoint file. Like that we can go for this paired sample t-test. The last one is independent sample t-test. Here we have no uh, confirm this one. So to perform any analysis, you can go to this analyze step. And here we have compare means. Here we have be uploaded mm. to somewhere, mm. or we can send uh, mm. by email, right, mm. for the student. Mm. And those who have, uh, I mean, rely on PPT. That really, and uh, you can uh, place your suggestions here. Then we can have more lectures. Uh, we can complete the syllabus as early as possible okay. uh, upload some voice recording for them oh. even uh, they can attend to the lectures on time but uh, we are zoom they can later on they now i'm going to stop the recording to stop the recording i can 
click this button otherwise i can use the shortcut key windows key plus shift plus q so i need to press this stop button now we can come back to the microsoft powerpoint 2019 and here we have the video here we have the play button i can click on the play button to play this video that's fine now let's see how we can save this video to save this video you can right click and here we have a command save media as so we can save this video as a video file as a mp4 file so we can refer it later you don't want to open microsoft powerpoint to view the video so we can use any media player to open that particular video or this particular video so we will click on this save media as and we can have the save media as dialog box and here we have the dialog box here i have a folder ict lecture folder on desktop and i want to save this file so i'm going to save as uh, ict lecture one okay that's fine now you can see the file type is mp4 now i'm going to click on the save button to save this video now you can see the status bar it is saved now we will minimize this microsoft powerpoint and we'll open the ICT lecture folder and here I have this uh, video file I'm going to double click to open this video the shortcut key to quit or the stop the is Windows plus that's fine I'm going to close here and we'll go back to the Microsoft PowerPoint and also you can save this presentation including this video later we can refer this presentation including this video to save this presentation you can go to the backstage view you can click on this uh, save as command here you can click on this browse button to call this save as dialog box and here we can give the file name which to give as uh, show one and here you can determine the file folder here we have the ICT lecture folders and we click on save button to save this presentation Done. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment box. Thank you very much, guys. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.